now and then we gotta let them know that the women are here and we're here to stay. That's right. That's right. So tell them for people who may not be familiar with Nisha, she the song I was playing by you as Kiss the Sky. Correct. But go ahead and introduce yourself. Let them know where you're from. All of that. Hi, what's up everybody? This is your girl Nisha. Um, I'm coming from Venezuela, South Carolina. Um, I'm signed to Aquarian Entertainment. Um, shout out to them, of course. And, you know, I am, of course, the new R&B sensation that's pretty much dominating South Carolina right now. And this girl can blow now. I mean, she goes in like extra, extra hard. So, you know, for those out there, y'all, um, you know, studio singers. You gotta be careful, beware, beware. They be trying to dance more than they sing, you know what I'm saying? But uh, we'll, we'll leave that alone, we'll leave that alone. <laughs> so how'd you get started doing your thing? Wow, um, actually I started at the age of six. I started um, singing with my father. Um, my father has a band back in South Carolina, well, I'm dancing with South Carolina. And I started recording at the age of 10. Wow. Yeah, so <laughs> my dad wrote my very first song for me. And then at the age of 12, I started um, singing, well, recording professionally with um, Cheryl Butler. She was an off of Quest Records back in the day. So shouts out to her back in New York. And from there, you know, I was in a bunch of groups. Um, and then later on to the present, you know, I signed with Aquarian Entertainment and we started Dream Sound. Got some producers and everything on board. And Voodoo was born. <laughs> All right, well, we're not going to talk about it. We're going to show them. So take a quick break. We're going to come back. We're going to talk a little bit more with Nisha, play some more of your favorite indie joints. And we're going to check out that voodoo. <laughs> Y'all keep it locked right here. It's one to play one to beat. Right now, Independence Day, my girl Nisha is still in the studio. That's right. R&B sensation right here in South Cap, baby, representing yeah. Bennettsville. I saw her a long time ago when I was, she was a little girl. <laughs> I'm sure all my age now. But now, um, I actually went to her high school a while back, so that's what's up. And I'm glad to see that you're still doing what you do. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. I mean, creativity is one thing, but being able to take it and, and turn it into an actual business is, is the beauty of this whole industry. So what, are, what do you see for yourself, Nisha? Where, where are we going with this? Well, actually, I see myself actually being on the national level, not just being locally, just being national, so everybody would know who Nisha is. Yeah. Um, I see so many different types of things happen in the industry. Like, I mean, on my path to right here, I mean, so many things have happened in the process. And I've learned from my past to, you know, to be better than what I was. Mm -hmm. So actually, you know, it's, it's just taking it to that next level bringing back that R&B music that you rarely ever hear right now. Yes. So. <laughs> and the proof is there. A lot of people think that you got to do this like, you know, I don't know what kind of R&B you want to call it, but at the end of the day, the proof was there. When Maxwell came back That's and right. he smashed the game That's with right. his album, yeah. it proved to you that people want real R&B. Right. That's right. You, can, you know, fast food is what it is. Hey. You can eat it all day, <laughs> you know, and then you're still empty. Right. You know what I mean? That's right. That's you want right. something that good old soul food stick to your ribs, That's right. R and B. That's right. And it's missing. I mean, it's, it's it's really missing right now. Of course, everything is is mixed with pop now, yeah, or hip hop to bring the extra flavor. So, I mean, with me, uh, you may get some of that, but it's not all of it. It's yeah. just you know, pretty much. From where my roots, my roots came from. And that's R and B. You know, like what happened to the bridge? <laughs> Do you understand what happened to the bridge? That used to be my favorite part of an R and B right. song. Is the bridge? Right. They just like completely cut that out. There's no yeah. more bridges. There's no breakdown. I want to hear a breakdown. None. None. All right. So let's talk about your joint. It's called Voodoo. Right. Go ahead. Let's just walk us into the record. Okay. Well, Voodoo uh, was produced by Crazy Figs out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, it was written by me. Um, the hook was actually done before I actually got the song. So, actually, um, the idea was given by Crazy Pigs. Okay. So, that's where it came from, the hook and all the different types that came from him. So, I took that idea and created, you know, this masterpiece of a song. Um, everywhere that we have actually played it, everybody has just went ballistic about the song. So, I mean, it tells a story. So, you know, how you, you get some of that, you know, that just make you think it's got me on you. <laughs> oh, boy. Y'all take it out right here. One to play, one to beat. You know, actually telling me, you know, you need to, I guess, give it that old school type feel. Yeah. So I took that concept and I ran with it. So I guess, you know, it is... When a song, when a beat speaks to you, it actually, you can roll with the lyrics. Yeah. That's crazy. It's bananas. You, you get a hit every time. You know? <laughs> okay. 
Y'all and I hope y'all artists take an interview one on one because none of y'all ever shout out y'all producers. Y'all never talk about who made the track. A little bit of interview one on one for y'all <laughs> out there. You know, I just gotta point that out. <laughs> but um, let them know where they can find you on the web. Of course. Um. Oh, there's several places. You can also first you can go to my site nishathevoice.net. I know you have everything from videos to um, my MySpace, my YouTube, my Facebook. All that good stuff. Actually, that's where you can find me at, period. Um, I do have a Facebook, um, N-P-E-G-U-E-S. Um, MySpace, everybody don't really use MySpace anymore. But <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> but, you know, pretty much you can find me on YouTube, majority, L-P-E-G-U-E-S-8-1. All of my videos there. Um, actually, my new video just launched last Saturday. Um, the voodoo video, so produced by Manny Mac. Shouts out to him from Charlotte, North Carolina. You don't have no voodoo on the video, do you? Ah! You, know, you watch yeah. the video, and you're like, all I want to hear is Nisha. I don't want to hear nothing else. You know what? <laughs> we, you know what, Venom? Like I said, I don't mean the, the most, but actually, I mean, the video did very well. Actually, it's first day. Okay. We got a lot of hits the very first day, so it, it's it's a little spicy. You know, okay. It, it'll give you something to look at. <laughs> okay, that's what it is. For that's all you is. fellas. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have anything else you want to say to the people? Uh, pretty much, you know, y'all check me out. Just be on the lookout for my new album that's coming out. Also, my mixtape, Welcome to My World, will be actually launching the end of this month.